Hello and welcome to video number 23 of Embolden's video tutorial project. Um, in this video we're going to talk about how to add an image with captions uh, using the Rad Editor tool. Uh, this will be the last of the videos that talks about images for a while. So, to add an image with a caption, unfortunately there is not a simple setting. Uh, as you saw when we were adding images using the Image Manager, um, there's not a caption setting anywhere in there. There's, there's the alt text, uh, but that's not going to display a caption below the image the way you probably want. Uh, generally, for most of our sites, uh, a caption style is included as part of the design. It, it depends on the scope of your project and all of that sort of thing. But for most sites, if you go to your design standards page under Manage Site, uh, or if it's an older site, it might be called the sample page instead of design standards, but it's the same thing. Um, you may find you have an example of an image with a caption. The easiest thing to do is just copy this and edit it. And the reason why we say that is because there's not a built-in captioning function in DNN or in the Rad Editor interface. So for every site we build, uh, the way captions are implemented may be somewhat different. So um, generally there's a caption style. Sometimes that's applied to this whole thing. Sometimes it's applied to uh, just this text down here. Sometimes it's applied to a table cell. So because it's not the same every single time, we can't easily do a video that says, this is how you're going to apply captions. So generally it's easiest for most folks to just go to their design standards page, hit edit content. You always wanna copy from inside the editor. You don't just wanna come here and, and swipe like that because you may end up with a bunch of extra stuff that you don't intend to copy over. So instead we're just gonna to go to edit content, edit this content, um, it'll pull up the editor, and we want to find the, uh, the sample caption. Now, what I can tell you is that this is actually a two-celled table. So it's one table, it's only one column, and it's two rows. So the top cell has the image, and the bottom cell has the caption. And if you know much about HTML and tables, you know there's a lot of different elements within them. So I can see down here that I'm inside a table, and inside that table there's a body, and inside that body there's a row, and inside that row there's a cell. That's what TD is, table data cell. And I happen to know, because I looked at the HTML, that in this case, the caption class is applied to that bottom cell, not to the text within the cell. You don't wanna highlight this and hit caption. You actually uh, would want to select the cell by clicking on it in the HTML, and then we can see the caption class is applied there. On top of that, if you look at the table as a whole, this table has a table left class applied. So again, this gets sort of complicated, so rather than try to figure out all of these different elements and what classes need to go where, um, I'm just going to suggest that you come in here to your, to your sample page, um, click, in, click anywhere into the caption area on the image or the caption, and click where it says table down here to select the whole table and just copy it, which I tend to use keyboard shortcuts, so Control C works fine. Some of you may want to actually use the copy icon up here. Um, and then go into your other page and paste it in. So I can paste this in. I now have an image with a caption. Obviously I want to edit these. I can just click on this image and I can replace it with my favorite little puppy image that we've been using. Um, and I will take any excuse to show cute puppies in a video here. Um, and, you know, I would want to go in and this is a cute puppy or whatever you might want to put for a caption. So that's the easiest way to do it. Literally just copying from another thing and then pasting it in and editing like that. Um, if you are more adventurous and you don't want to go through having to go to another page and copy every time, you certainly can look up in the HTML and kind of figure out what the structure is um, and do it that way. But that's a much more advanced thing um, than most of our users would be used to. So that's it, that's it for images. We've talked about adding an image to the page, cropping and sizing images, uploading images, and now adding an image with a caption. Thank you.